morning, guys. Welcome to Music and Movement. This is week four already of Summer Reading Club. That's pretty exciting. Um, we're going to get started with our song. Um, I'm going to put up the lyrics for Can You Sing High? The words on the left are my part. They're in black. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction. I never know with this camera. Um, the, that's my left. So the words on your left that are on the screen that are underlined in black are my part. I sing that first and then you echo with the words on the right, the highlighted part. And I'll play both parts. And if you've done it before here, it'll maybe be a little easier. I'll give you just a quick little run through. For example, I sing, can you sing high? And you sing, I can sing high. I sing, can you sing low? You sing, I can sing low. Like that. So kind of listen along and uh, I'll try to play your part pretty well. All right, here we go. Can you sing high? I forgot to mention that last part, let's go, you, you don't have to sing what I play, you just shout it as loud as you can, let's go! So, next time. Okay, um, I'm going to put up a few announcements, uh, just to run you kind of through the weekly process of our summer reading club, so you can look up there, Mondays we have uh, Music and Movement, which you're watching now, we have Super Smash Brothers at uh, 2 o'clock until 3.30. We have story times in English and Spanish on Tuesday, and this week's going to be a little different. We're also going to post our Crafty Kids video on Tuesday, and then um, Wednesday we'll have a performer, Thursday we'll have our Lego challenge, Friday we will be closed, so we won't really have anything um, there, but Saturday we'll have another story time, music time, and it's going to be a patriotic focus for the 4th of July, which is Saturday. And the library will also be closed that day and Sunday following. So um, that's the big change. This week is that the library is going to be closed this weekend in observance of Independence Day. All right, now let's move on to some singing. So this is one of my favorite songs. It is called Little Rooster. And I like it because there's a lot of really fun stuff you can do with it. And the melodies are super fun and catchy. So we're gonna, the first time we're just gonna sing through about our rooster, okay? And, and he's gonna go cock-a-doodle-doo. All right, just like this. Uh, if I can remember what key it's in. that song. So with the next verse, there are lots of things you can do. You can sing more animals. You can uh, come up with a game to play. And that's what we do here at the library when there are lots of kids. We have this game that we play with scarves. And so I'm going to pull out my first scarf here. And it is red. So I'm going to say how I love my little red scarf. I throw it underneath the shade tree. And when I throw it, it's going to go woo! And so if you have something red, like a jacket, or a t-shirt, or maybe your underwear, not the ones you're wearing, <laughs> um, you know, something that you can throw, not near a ceiling fan or anything like that, that's red, that'll be all billowy like this. Maybe you have some scarves at home, stuff like that. Um, and then you can throw along with me. If you don't have anything like that, that's totally fine. You can pick another color, or you can just say, woo! All right, so we're going to try that. Ready? How I love my little red scarf, and my red scarf loves me. I throw my little red scarf underneath the shade tree, and my red scarf goes woo! And my rooster goes cock a doodle doo. 
yeah, just like that. And so, that we couldn't end it there. We've got to have more scarves. So now I have a yellow scarf. And we're going to do the same thing, and we'll throw the yellow scarf, and we'll say, woo! And then we'll throw the red scarf again, and we'll say, woo! And then we'll say, and the rooster goes, cock-a-doodle-doo. All right, now let's try it. So if you have something yellow at home, get it ready, and keep your red thing that you were throwing. How I love my little yellow scarf, and my yellow scarf loves me. It landed on me! <laughs> and my rooster goes cock a doodle doo 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 Alright, and then I've got one last scarf. Had to get all the primary colors. A... Oh, there it is. Blue scarf! Okay, so find something blue. See if you can, you know, something you can throw safely. And keep your yellow and your red. And here we go. How I love my, love my little blue scarf, and my blue scarf loves me. I throw my little blue scarf underneath the shade tree. And my blue scarf goes, woo! And my yellow scarf goes, woo! And my red scarf goes, And my rooster goes cock a doodle doo doodle doo doodle doo. That was a little bit of a train wreck. Oh, okay. <laughs> there at the end, but that song's a lot of fun. So, um, that's Little Rooster. Love it. Uh, like I said, whenever we do it here, we have a lot of kids running around throwing scars, and you can do it with instruments, you can do it with. Uh, some other kind of game. Be creative. You know, use that song to your heart's content. All right. So this one's a lot easier. Really simple. Mary Had a Little Lamb. We've probably sung this one before. And we're just going to sing two verses of it, okay? Here we go. Nice little relaxing break. All right, so now the last song we're gonna do, I, I think we've done this one on a recording, um, but I can't remember if it was summer or before that. Maybe it was before that, and you know, maybe it was a different solfege song. That's what this song's all about. Um, it's to the tune and the gist, the kind of general feel of um, Do, Re, Mi from The Sound of Music, uh, but the words are a little bit different. So I'm gonna put those up for you so you can uh, sing along with me and read along, and we'll get started. So, if you remember from the other solfege song, Do is like a rock, Re is like a ramp, Mi is like a table, Fa thumbs down, So is like a wall, La is like a hook, T one finger, and then Do is like a rock. So you can do that along with us, okay? Ready? Um, So I think 
little bit lost there at the end, but yeah, isn't that funny? So uh, I can thank Randy Decker for teaching me that when I was in school. Um, yeah, so it's just a fun little new interpretation on the uh, Sound of Music song. All right, so now we're going to move on to our instrument lesson. And today, you can see, I have the tambourine. This is a lot simpler than what we did last week with the piano. This will be a whole lot shorter, uh, I promise you. So, um, let me get this table out of the way, pick up my scarves and stuff. But, um, yeah, you know, we had that kind of mental focus, long thing, and so I thought we could take a break this time with the tambourine. I and mean, what's cool about the tambourine, as, as simple as it is, it's also, you know, really, you can do a lot of things with it, and it's because that's just kind of the nature of percussion instruments. It's like we've said before, a percussion instrument is anything you can hit, scrape, or shake, and this one really makes some cool sounds when you do all three. So that means we can do a lot of different stuff with the tambourine. Um, the other cool thing about the tambourine is that it's simple construction means that it's really hard to mess it up. So while you can get really expensive, really nice tambourines that cost lots and lots of money, you can also, um, if you're not a professional, <laughs> you can get uh, like a little toy tambourine that you can still have a lot of fun with, you can learn a lot with, and uh, will make some really neat sounds. So we're going to use this one. Uh, I'm going to use this one. If you have one at home, or if you want to make one out of like a paper plate and some jingle bells or some beans or something, anything that you can hit and shake and rattle, then uh, you've essentially got a tambourine. So we're going to sing a song that we sing all the time here called Baby Bumblebee. And if you know Baby Bumblebee, you know that it has three parts, here anyway, I've heard some other parts, but we only do three, and you do some little bit different things with your hands on every verse. Okay, so the first verse, we're gonna pick up our baby bumblebee, and what I want you to do is scoop with your hands, if you have your tambourine in one hand, I want you to scoop and tap, just like that, with fingertips, okay? Ready? I'm picking up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm picking up my baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me. So you see, you can make a stinger and sting. So after your bumblebee stings you, you get a little mad at it and you squish it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use our whole hand instead of just our fingers this time. We're gonna squish the bumblebee. Ready? I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Ew, it's all over me. Let's shake it off. And look, that does something with the tambourine. Shake it off, shake it off. All right. So now, the last thing we're going to do is wipe off our baby bumblebee. So I'm gonna wipe them off on my pants, and I'm just gonna wipe them off on my pants. You can do it on your hands, you can do it on the floor, but I'm gonna use my pants just to have something different, okay? I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Look, mom, all clean. There you go, and you can give her the jazz hands, show you, show her your hands are clean. Isn't that cool? So we got to do a few different things with the tambourine. We got to hit it with our fingertips. We have to hit it with our hands. We have to hit it with our legs. And we got to shake it. And it makes all sorts of different sounds. So use different songs, maybe use the same song. If you've got a tambourine at home, try it lots of different ways with your hands and with uh, shaking and all sorts of, you know, whatever you can think of with your tambourine. And usually, even if you're doing something that's not related to the tambourine and you're just holding it, you'll get a lot of cool sounds out of it. All right, good job guys, we're gonna put this away. And now, we're gonna move on to the playhouse where I'm gonna use a puppet show to teach you a story that you can turn into a game. And beware, it's a little scary, it's about a big bad wolf, but, uh, he gets tricked a couple times along the way. I won't give the whole thing away. You guys can check it out. Once upon a time, in a beautiful mountainside meadow, there were some elves. 
elves, gnomes, trolls. They went by lots of names. The point is, they were very cute, and they loved to dance and sing. Now, they sang a song about dancing in the meadow called... We are dancing in the meadow, all our cares are far away. Because they had nothing in the world to worry about, only dancing and singing in the meadow. Until a big scary wolf appeared and scared them away. He said, I'm going to catch you and throw you in my dungeon to eat you. Arrgh! And they ran away, very scared. So the wolf was very disappointed. All my elves ran away. I wanted to eat them and throw them in the dungeon. Mr. Wolf was a very mean wolf. So he decided to chase after the gnomes. He went through the meadow and over the mountains until he came to a very hot, very dry desert. It is so hot. Did they come this way? He used his nose to smell for the elves. <laughs> Smells like they were here. He looked, but in his hurry he had forgotten his glasses! The wolf needed his glasses to see well, so he wasn't sure, and he thought he would use his ears to listen. And very faintly, very softly, very far away, he heard, We are dancing in the meadow, all our cares are far away. He thought, that sounds like the elf song. I'm going to keep going. So he sniffed and listened his way through the desert until he came to a busy, dirty, stinky city. That smells like garbage. He didn't like the city very much, but he listened and he heard a little bit louder, a little bit closer. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if he finds us at our play? I think I'm on the right trail. I'll have to make my way through the city. So he sniffed the smelly city, and he listened and heard the sounds of the streets, the cars, the people, and he made his way through until he found... deep, dark forest. He smelled. I smell the elves. He listened. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what may happen to us if he finds us at our play. I'm almost there. So he continued through the forest until he found a meadow. He thought to himself, hmm, this clearing looks a lot like the meadow the elves came from. It smells like them, and it's so sunshiny and good for dancing and singing, they must be here. I'm going to wait and crouch in the bushes, and I'm going to jump out and scare them. And sure enough, the wolf didn't have to wait long before he heard, We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what may happen to us if he finds us at our play. The elves were singing and dancing about the wolf, and they were laughing and giggling and having so much fun, the wolf thought, I don't like that song very much. They must be making fun of me. Well, if they think I'm not smart enough to find them, they're in for a surprise. So the wolf found one little elf who was dancing all by himself. We are dancing in the forest. The wolf crept closer and closer while the wolf is far away. 
closer and closer, quietly. Who knows what may happen to us until if he roar! The elves were so scared, they froze. They couldn't move. And just as the wolf was about to snatch them up and take him to the dungeon, he froze too. Weren't there a bunch of elves here? I, I know I heard them singing, and I thought I saw them dancing, but it looks like just a bunch of little trees or bushes. Hmm. The wolf had been so hasty in running after the elves, he forgot his glasses, and the wolf needs his glasses to see. Once the elves stopped moving, he couldn't tell that they were any different from trees or shrubs or rocks or anything else he didn't want to eat. He looked and listened and smelled, but he couldn't figure it out. Well, I suppose I'll have to look elsewhere. And he wandered off, leaving the elves free and happy to dance and sing. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what may happen to us if he finds us at our play. But all the elves know, if they see the wolf come out, all they have to do is freeze. And he won't know they're not trees. So, there's a fun little story about the wolf and the elves. You can play that as a game at home. That's what I used to do uh, when I was teaching school. We would have uh, one person be the wolf and everyone else be the elves and the wolf would close their eyes and they, everyone would sing, we are dancing in the forest and dance. And then when that person looks, what do you do? That's right, you freeze. So it's kind of a fun little riff on freeze tag or something like that and you can sing a song. All right, thanks for joining us at the Playhouse. Let's see what's happening back at the piano. Okay, so you gotta be pretty careful around that wolf, even when he's not wearing his glasses, right? But um, try that game out for yourselves. Um, make sure that, you know, whenever somebody turns around and they look at you, you freeze. And see if you can play that with your cousins or your brothers and sisters or maybe some kids in your neighborhood or whatever is safe for you and your family uh, right now or later on or, you know, whatever works for you guys. Okay? All right, we're going to close up and we're going to sing the more we read together. So everybody put your hands together and here we go. Well, that is it. Uh, we're going to sing See You Later, Alligator. And I'm so glad you guys could join us. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tambourine and those fun new songs and the wolf. Th uh, that's we, uh, when I was teaching that play, we used to call it the wolf game. And, uh, so I hope you enjoy the wolf game at home. All right, so here's See You Later, Alligator. See you later, Alligator. Thanks again for joining us, guys, and we'll see you alligators later.